This is my Austin 7. I haven't made a video for about a year. Um, rather amusingly, I think I said in the last video that I'd hope to finish it in three months, but here it is a year later, still extremely unfinished. And if you have watched the other videos, you'll notice that it's now in a different location, which is far more congenial and far better for Austin 7s. You see, it's like the, there's quite a few Austin 7s in here. It's a workshop owned by a guy called John Sutton, who is moderately well known in the Austin 7 scene. Um, he's got quite a race history. Just to show you the cars that are in here. This is Roger Gould's um, Ulster replica, made by Peter Maguire. Um, this is John Sutton's Ulster, which is an original, which is a rare car. Um, this is a body for a TT car, which is John Sutton's building at the moment. Um, this I believe is called a Mackenzie and it's a single seater race car which John Sutton has raced quite a lot. It's a sprint car rather than a track car. And that's again that's the that's the original Ulster. And that's a 1924 Vauxhall. Okay, so this is the most exciting thing, it's the engine which is currently being John Sutton is currently put together. It's a Ruby engine and it's unfortunately three bearing rather than two bearing because so I hope it I hope the crankshaft doesn't break But as you can see John Sutton has made a fantastic job of it It is absolutely beautiful um, Still rebuilding the front axle waiting for cast um, brake drums to come and Back to the car. This is the car. So the spare wheel isn't on at the moment um, Currently doing wiring there. This is the um, Backlights, they're motorcycle backlights, and I've just turned these back uh, plates so I can fit the cable glands for the armoured cable. It's maybe a bit over the top, and it's not um, necessarily that original, but it is a special, so I have a lot of license about how I do stuff. Um, these are lights going to the headlights, going with those cable glands, um, with the armoured cable, and I've done it wiring slightly unconventionally. There's a um, I've done a terminal box, which is makes it wiring easier rather than all the junctions in the loom. I managed to find, very fortunately, a um, vintage terminal block at Bewley Auto Jumble. Um, yep, yeah, so that's a horn. That's a horn um, off one of those Indian Royal Enfields, um, which looks fairly period. Um, and then. There's a dashboard. I have actually made a video about making the dashboard, but I haven't yet. Um, I haven't yet managed to get it edited because that's more. That's I've like, got loads of different parts. Um, dashboard is a mishmash of lots of different dials. Um, I did start off with a box saloon switch panel, but I don't need some of the charging switches on the that are on the box saloon panel. So I sold that on eBay and. I made this panel up out of a set for oil gauge, um, amp meter and a ruby style ignition key. Um, as you can see I've got the uh, dashboard lights wired up and on at the moment. Yeah and that's that's where I am and I, I really do think it's possible now to finish it in three months. So um, all the bonnets made which is massively complicated but literally every stage of the car has been ten times more work than I thought. I, I've never built anything like this before. I've, I've mucked about with classic cars but I've never actually done a from scratch build of a car and it is a lot of work.